Okay, we're good. Okay, so what have you been playing this week, if anything? Splinter Cell 1 on my Wii U, but the GameCube version. I did see you posting some screenshots of that. <laughs> Is it? Does it hold up? It's not bad. It's not as good as the Xbox version, but it's not bad. Yeah, because on the GameCube, didn't they use the uh, PS2 version for reasons? Yes, it is. It's the PS2 version, yeah. Which is a sh- it's a shame because it, it could have shame. It, they could have put the Xbox version on, but you know, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, the we the the GameCube had a lot of power back in the day, back when Nintendo used to compete on a hardware level, and um, the GameCube was such a cool little device, man. I fucking loved. It. I've still got mine up there. This isn't read really discs, but it's kind of obsolete these days because you just mod your Wii, and there you go. Well, I was just about to say I've got literally every GameCube and Wii game on my Wii U now. So yeah, what's the point? I still can't get my. Um, my GameCube games to load off my hard drive on the Wii U. I don't I've know what tried to, uh, everything, I, you know, and uh, they load off the SD card perfectly, absolutely fine. So it doesn't matter. I've just got like a 256 gig SD card in there, and then I've got another weird thing with my Wii. Um, on the Wii, I can rip and save Wii games. To the usb memory stick but again right. i can rip gamecube games to the usb memory stick but it won't read them after about five minutes they always crash but it will run them fine off the sd card and i've been over, all over the forums i don't know yeah, no, nobody seems to know um i've been on the forums and it they basically say it comes down to potluck some people have this problem they're maybe it's a motherboard revision thing or something but yeah i don't know it doesn't matter yeah. because i just used the memory card anyway but wii u games and wii games run lovely off the off the hard drive it's just so weird it's fucking annoying no i don't i don't know i haven't had any problem with gamecube games really hmm. but they do uh, run the only one that there's only one that doesn't work and that's uh chaos theory that's the only game that I've got that doesn't work. Everything else works fine. Really? Don't know why. Yeah. No matter what I do, it doesn't work. I find that interesting. So you're playing the Wii, and uh, you're playing the GameCube version of Splinter Cell One. Yeah. Even though you have the Xbox One X. Yeah. <laughs> which has an amazing version of the yeah. original game. <laughs> the thing is, I've played both versions uh, up to the same point. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fair. It's like I've, I've got like to a certain point, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm going to start it on the the Wii U," and I'm to that point as well. It's like, why? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Uh, you know, I kind yeah. of I I've done stupid shit like that. I played. Um, I got the Wii out, and when I modded the Wii before we did the Wii U, uh, I played up to about fifty stars on Mario Galaxy, and then we modded the Wii U. And I played up to 50 stars again, and then I just stopped. I just... Yeah, it, it's why the same you do thing. These yeah, it's just, you know, it, it is what it is. What do you think about Pikmin 3 being removed from the Wii U shop? Why do you think they've done it? Because it cannot be, it cannot be for the fact that they're bringing it out on the Switch. Because there are other games they've ported to the Switch, which they haven't removed from the Wii U library. Do you think it is a license? See, I was thinking maybe it's a license problem, but it can't be a license problem because they own the platform and they own the game. So I, it's a conundrum. I can't work it out. I honestly don't know what it is. No. It's one of those weird things where it is timed really well, where mm. it coincides with, obviously they're releasing it, but not till October because obviously for some reason they need a few more months to get that ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just the Wii game. Um, but, yeah, it, no, it's just really weird. It's, what was it? It was like a couple of days ago it was yeah. taken off the Wii U, wasn't it? I only know because I then, saw it on the group and I was like, wait, what? Yeah, really? no, it's the same here. I, I, obviously, I ain't going to look for it because I own it anyway. But, yeah, same. Um, yeah, that's just really weird because someone said, first of all, that the DLC had been taken down and I and then the next day someone said oh the whole game's been taken down so i I don't know what that's about really 
That could be a fuck um, factor if they've removed the DLC because I've got it on disc mm. and obviously I've ripped it to the hard drive, but I don't have the DLC. So exactly, I, I don't know what the DLC was. To be fair, um, but it was some extra missions, um, I think, and maybe like a Christmas themed level or something. If I remember correctly, I, I honestly can't Which remember. Which actually does sound it, pretty it was extra. cool. Ah, it's, just, um, it's bizarre. I seem to remember him releasing one around Christmas, and it was Christmas themed. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. Maybe it's your fault. Yeah. Maybe it's because you probably is because you've uh, you've you've rekindled the Wii U <laughs> in quite a big way thanks to your group. <laughs> Nintendo's like, no, <laughs> they cannot have anything. Just going to start removing. I'm waiting games. for them to take down like Tropical Freeze and uh, Mario Kart Eight next and everything. So they're like, oh, it's on the Switch. <laughs> so. Well, the thing is, like you would have thought, instead of taking these games offline one by one, they would just shut the service down. And they can't. I'm surprised they haven't. I'll yes. be honest. I'm actually quite surprised the eShop is still going. Me too. And but it does still get the occasional game as well, doesn't it? It still gets the occasional yeah, indie yeah. indie release. So. I mean, to some degree, they are still propping up the dead corpse of, of the system, but I don't know, man. Well, Nintendo aren't. That's the thing. Nintendo aren't. It's, it's like indie developers and stuff that are still, it's, it, you know, do it. Like, like, what was it? A game came out recently, and it came out on the Wii as well. Um, oh, I did hear about um, that. Uh, the name reminds me a little bit of Hotline Miami. But was it Retro Rampage? Um, yes. Retro yeah, Zion? yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it was. Yeah, you know, the sad death of the Wii U does remind me of a very uh, of another system that has had a very similar fate. It's exactly the same. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even now, it's still getting uh, releases from uh, indie games. Uh, indie developers are still supporting it. Uh, I don't know how, to be honest, the, the store for this is still going. It blows my mind, considering Sony like officially left it to die, what, five years ago? And somehow the Vita mm. has, has been active. And they only actually stopped manufacturing this uh, last year. Which, again, is weird when you think about it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, it, it's bizarre that they <clears throat> just kind of brushed it under the carpet officially but they're like yeah well if if, if these indie developers want to uh, drop a game on it you know there they go it just i don't know it all kind of gets to me a bit because it the way it's going now makes me think how it's going to go like in the future i think sony and microsoft will always be more supportive mm. of older consoles and that but nintendo this to me just shows what they're going to do when the next switch comes out i can see them doing the same sort of thing i mean the switch is popular but nintendo seems always willing to just kill whatever came before to focus everyone's attention on the new thing yeah totally. Um, you know like the wii there's no really i can't see any real reason why they shut down the um oh, what was it actually called the, the wii shop it was wii shop wasn't it yeah wii shop down. Wii shop, yeah shop and they down. shut that down Quite quickly, I think, but considering the Wii was still kind of popular, like a lot of people still actually play online and stuff on the Wii. It's still quite popular. Million units. Yeah, I love my um, Wii. I, I you know, it. I just find it weird that they just drop. I mean, they had a huge, huge amount of um, games on the Virtual Console on that. Yeah, the Wii's Virtual Console. It just console seems, you know, and they just killed it. Just boop, and like with the Wii U, it was just like Miiverse. Would we'll just kill it straight away, like it, Nintendo's it, got a track, a track record of that, though. Do you remember when um, well, the GameCube was a failing system as well? But they really did drop the GameCube um, before the actual Wii came out too. I remember that was discontinued well, and pulled out yeah. of shops like a year before the Wii even came out. I remember when I bought my GameCube, you couldn't get them anymore. Like, you could not buy a GameCube. Uh, there's a couple of the big retailers had them secondhand. Um, but you couldn't buy control pads, memory cards, and stuff like that. And I remember I went into... Do you remember in Red Roof that retro... Well, that game shop. Ah, uh, owned by a guy called Lloyd Gamers. Um, he had that little independent game store. And it was weird, man. I, I always wondered how that place... I even don't... You don't remember think that one? so. 
Well, I don't know how. I remember what was it? Stopping shops. Stopping shops where we always used to rent games. Used used to to rent rent games from yeah. Yeah, Turok. Yeah, remember John at Stopping Shop? He was, he was something else. Um, (laughs) We used to rent those uh, X-rated movies as well. What was it? (laughs) <laughs> what was it we rented one uh, no it was me my brother and andrew you remember andrew um oh yeah yeah good old andrew my stepbrother kind of sort of ish uh we went and we rented um we was gonna get tomb raider funny enough uh it was a, like a cheap tomb raider film that he had on the back shelf and it was actually only when we took it home we realized it was womb raider and <laughs> Yeah, we watched that, and it was like the cheapest, like lowest budget, like soft core porn thing you'd ever seen. And we were children at the time, and he rented it to us. He didn't give a fuck. But Sounds then, about right for him. Yeah, yeah, and he had he had his cat called Claude, which I remember when I worked for him for a week when we did work experience. His cat was the best part about that job. But then, if I remember correctly, in work experience with John, I think I turned up for two days and then bunked off the rest. Uh, which was part of the course back then. But anyway, what were we talking about? I can't remember. Ah, we were talking about renting games. Um, Yes, when you used to come over and we'd literally rent Turok for like the whole weekend. And we would... Oh, I remember that time we bought that whole chicken as well. And just, <laughs> it was it was so weird. We had Down that, by the garage. Yeah, we went to the garage yeah. and we bought a whole roast chicken already cooked. And we had Turok. And that was literally the weekend. Fuck's sake. God, we partied fucking we, wild, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did, we did. Uh, well, the partying came around college, didn't it, when we started doing all of the um, questionable things. Oh, I remember staying up, renting games from Stop and Shop for the whole weekend and just getting wasted and, and uh, eating coffee to stay up because we didn't want to go to sleep because that was wasting rental time, you see. And smoking it. Uh, and sm- Oh, we, sm- we smoked everything. Do you remember that time where we cut off a bit of plastic carpet? Uh, and we rolled that up. Oh Fuck. God! Yeah, we actually rolled that up. I don't even remember. We smoked everything we could get hold of. We smoked that in case bush it might get you high. Well. Yeah, we smoked that bush. Uh, I remember it was gorse bush, wasn't it? And there was a plant next to it um, that apparently was hyper lethal <laughs> if smoked. <laughs> but then we, you know, uh, it amazes me that we've made it this this far in life. To be honest, uh, made yeah. us the men we are today. Well, yeah. Fucking losers. <laughs> losers. <laughs> nah, college was college and school though was a great time growing up. Do you think that being in college uh, and school, for that matter, being surrounded constantly by people that were into video games, do you think that helped keep the passion going a little bit? Because gaming today well, yeah. feels yeah. very isolating, doesn't it? I mean, I I think about it. If I didn't do YouTube. Apart from talking to you every now and again, I wouldn't have anyone to talk to about games. Mate, literally, I'm exactly the same. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of stuff has changed in my life over the last short space of time. You know, I've got my own house, got a daughter, I've lost members of my family, stuff Mm -hmm. has happened. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of lose interest in the silly things. You know know what I mean? And it's not just the fact of life changing it's also the fact that you everything's so negative like you could every time um they're like oh ea bringing out a new star wars game everyone's just like it's gonna be shit Mm -hmm. it's gonna have loot boxes yeah it's everyone's gonna hate it like and and then it is (laughs) ubisoft to bring that new game oh by the way they shelter pedophiles yeah oh man (laughs) The, the news surrounding Ubisoft that has come out of late. Holy shit. We didn't really have this negative stuff back then. Uh, maybe it was there, but we just you didn't, didn't really look. hear it. That was no. what it was. I mean, it probably went on, but oh, well, all we mean... saw was uh, magazines, hmm. gaming mags, you know, where it was just like, oh, which we man, studied. Some new screenshots of, of GoldenEye. Wow, look at it. I remember getting that magazine, actually talking about uh, video game magazines. Oh, the, that's one of the things I loved about the disc based consoles. You always got the demo. And I remember they showed <laughs> off screenshots, screenshots of Metal Gear Solid um, about a year before the game even came out. And we were just like these pixelated messes. You could barely tell what, what it was if you, you know, when you actually went, went back and looked oh, at it. It was exciting. It was. It there was, was exciting. so much excitement. 
I remember talking to Daniel, um, another guy that we went to school with, and he was fully into the PlayStation uh, 2. And do you remember he brought in a PlayStation 2 magazine and he had um, a couple of screenshots for Red Faction. And I remember looking at the screenshots. I was so against the PS2 at the time. I was like, yeah, fuck that thing. You know, I'm all about the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast, Dreamcast is, yeah. is, is my main system. Dreamcast. I was still well into the N64. It was yeah. a weird, that was a weird period because I didn't actually jump on the next generation for quite a long time. I, mm. I did get a Dreamcast. I traded in my N64 for a Dreamcast at some point. Mm -hmm. But it was to get a GameCube they have been out quite a while before I got, I got one after Wind Waker had come out, so it must have been out mm -hmm. for at least a couple of years before I bought one. Because um, yeah. there was like a period where I just didn't really play anything, and then I got really into the GameCube. But then I became a PC gamer for PC quite elitist. a few years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It was, it was weird. Strange little period that was. I, 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 I was all, all about the music back then, man. Yeah, you know? well, that was <laughs> college for you, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you went into your music, and college, <laughs> college for me was just weed, booze, and uh, heavy metal. Um, so I didn't. Well, that's all it was for me. Well, yeah, <laughs> I did, that's basically what I did as well. I didn't really focus on any of my lessons, and, and all college was was just when when the Xbox dropped, it was just Halo, man, fucking Halo. But yeah, that having a group of people that you went out and socialized with all the time, and all well for the. The overwhelming majority of the time, all we did was talk about games. You used to fire each other up about games and all this. It's cool the arguments stuff. you'd have and oh, like the bit wars, man. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. The arguments. <sighs> I actually, I actually, even to this day, remember a conversation me and you had in Lander. We were sat in the dining room drinking vinegar. Yeah, because uh, we actually got pulled up for that, didn't we? Yeah, we got. It's that day. It's that day we got in trouble for drinking yeah, vinegar. Drinking packets and of vinegar. We were having an argument about. The, well, I say it like it wasn't a real argument, but like I recently bought Diddy Kong Racing, and what a game that was! I can't remember. I can't remember which game you were talking about, but you were you were having a go at me saying, "Yeah, Diddy Kong Racing looks good and all, but it doesn't look sixty four bit, does it?" <laughs> It oh, looks more like a sub thirty two bit. <laughs> no, I just remember yeah. you saying that. Like, <laughs> that it looked like it was nearly thirty two bit. <laughs> we used to have all these stupid little really like funny. arguments, though, didn't we? I mean, uh, I remember, uh, I remember when when um, I was looking at the Argos magazine, and back when they still had the um, was it the Mega Drive two was in there, and it was saying like sixteen bit <laughs> sixteen bit set. Um, and I was like, whoa, 16 bit. What does that mean? Because uh, we didn't know what bits were back then. We were, no, we were like, all. you know, single digits. Well, I knew that 64 was better than 32. That's all. Yeah, I, exactly. I, well, at least that's what I was told. <laughs> right. Uh, and that is what we believed. But I remember <laughs> seeing that the Mega Drive was 16 bits and, and they had the picture of it and everything that came in the box. And I was trying to count up 16 different items. Is that what it meant? So, like, two control pads, that's two bits. And then, like, the cable, <laughs> that's three bits. And then it had, like, a couple of games. It's like, well, well that's that's six bits and i said oh the main console's got to got count for 10 bits <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> i was a slow child yeah i think that's fair to say um it, it's funny though yeah. when you think about like because obviously me and you were we were both really into our mega drive oh big time and then it was that christmas that you got your playstation and i got my n64 oh that was but that Christmas. it was the, the jump from like mega drive to the to the next one was like really big and i mm. i remember when i was i was trying to play turok and I didn't know so. that my memory card didn't work because I didn't. I didn't know what memory card was. That, I didn't that know was what new. It even did. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I got to a save point, and it was like you know, put in the controller pack, and I put it in, and and I couldn't figure. I I presumed it was some weird technology that I just didn't <laughs> understand. But it turned out my memory card was broken. Yeah. And I kept just getting to the same point in Turok, and then losing my save, and getting to the same point, and just doing it over and over and over again. Because Goldeneye was fine because it saved to the cartridge, so I didn't have to worry about that. That you know, that was always fucking black magic to me. The fact that N sixty four's certain games could save to the cartridge. I, I always used to think, oh, one day they're gonna bring out a PlayStation One game that's gonna save to the disc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Memory yeah, cards, man. Yeah. And how expensive that's were another memory thing. cards as well. Oh. It's it's 
all these, you know, the cartridge consoles that mm. saved your games, a lot of them are starting to die out now. The batteries inside the yeah. cartridges are dying. And it's like, I don't know, I think that's another thing. At the minute, it's like our era of gaming is it's, almost... It's fading. You know, coming to an end in a, in a sense. You know, yeah. it's, it's kind of sad. It is sad. Like, my N64 that I had, the HDMI one, the only reason that one was viable was because I had an EverDrive. Yeah, the end drives. Cool. I would love to have the proper cartridges, but you know, I know that stuff is starting to, to wind degrade. down and die out a little bit. Yeah. Yep. It's so, like trying to get a Dreamcast mm. these days. Most of them like have disc reading problems or power supply problems. Uh, I've got a PlayStation Two over there that I bought not that long ago. It doesn't read discs. You know, it is sad. Because I still remember being so excited when I when I walked into a um I think what was it electronic boutique that we had at the time it wasn't game we didn't have game stuff EB we games had EB. Yeah. yeah electronic boutique and I remember the first time I saw a PlayStation Two uh, sitting on the shelf brand fucking new now you look at them now and they're just like this scratched up beat old box in the corner and you know I shit myself the other day when I was thinking about my 360 I was sent up to record a game Turok actually uh, which was a I'm not recording it now but I'll come back to it at some point and record it something else came up but I was sitting there thinking um, I was going through some eBay listings looking at systems and I was like holy shit the 360 came out in 2005 it's 15 years old yep. when did that happen what I was like, that's I the know, first console I that I saved up with for my own money. I still remember marching down to Lloyd's shop. Uh, I had this fucking great big trench coat. <laughs> and I had, <laughs> I had all this shit on me to trade in. Literally, I, man, my pockets were bulging. I had a backpack with, I don't know what the fuck. Those were the days. PC. Yeah, I, I, I went down there to trade in. Because that's when I got my first job as well. I was work well, my first proper job. I was working in Tesco's and funny enough, the day the 360 came out was my payday. I didn't understand money. I just knew you'd turn up and eventually they were going to give me a sack of cash. You know, I was a kid. It was all new to me. And I did, I, you know, hours, blah, 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 blah. So I just turn up. I remember going to my bank thinking, fuck, uh, I hope I got enough money for this because I've pre-ordered it. I haven't put any money down. Uh, so No, I went to Lloyd, uh, Lloyd's first and I dumped all this shit onto his counter and I was like right what's all this worth and he actually gave me a very good price uh and I remember that and he's like oh it was like a hundred pounds or something and I think the 360 was 200 because I wanted the ultimate edition uh the premium pack they called the it elite. Uh, it? the elite the elite came out later no that was, was later a, wasn't it yeah yeah you got the, the the premium console um because Sony actually took a jab at Microsoft back in the day saying oh well all of our systems are the premium consoles and you know that was a load of shit because there was a cut down version of the PlayStation uh, 3 so yeah and then I remember going back to I remember leaving him with all that stuff I went to a cash machine looked in my bank and I had something like 540 or quid in there that I'd been paid and I my mind exploded I felt like I'd fucking won the lottery or something and uh, yeah, I remember buying that system and it was the first system I ever bought with my own money. I was so proud. I, I bought I brought Call of Duty 2, uh, which actually for the time was really cool. That blew my little mind, that did. I bought uh, Cameo, Elements of Power, which kind of holds up now. We played it on the channel not that long ago. And I had another game, but I can't remember. Ah, oh, Perfect Dark Zero, which is a steaming pile of fucking shit. But we force that we 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 tried as hard as mm. we could to like it we said like, yeah this game's really good it's fucking great even though you're like that yeah, i tried i tried mate no it is terrible and uh so i actually ended up taking my 360 home i set it up uh i didn't even have hd tv at the time um it was no one I, did no, really. no 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 well the original 360 didn't even have a hdmi port it had component uh, HD cables, but oh yeah, because I had to hook it up with AV cables, which I hated, because I, I even tried to buy an RGB SCART lead, because obviously that's the best connection you could get, and he's like, oh yeah, they haven't come in yet, and I was like, no, okay, well I'm going to go home and I'm going to try and enjoy this fuzzy, shitty picture, but it doesn't even matter anyway, because three days later it overheated and died, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and... 
you know yeah like I, ring of yeah, death yeah i think it lasted at most it lasted a week uh, and I still remember the 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 guy coming to pick it up to to replace it, and he was like, "Yeah, these things are going back by by the bucket load." And he was this old man, DPD or something. And um, I I remember, yeah, because I was with the ex at the time, and I remember thinking, "Oh, fuck off, like old man. These aren't going back. He's a Sony fanboy or something. This is an old man. It's just an old man. He, he didn't give a shit. You know what I mean?" But it's that kind of attachment to a plastic box. Like if anybody said anything bad about the 360, I would just get so offended and butt hurt. And you know, I'd have people to still do, mate. I, people I know, still do. I know, and it's sad, man. It's sad. I get called a fanboy all the time. I remember when I got called a PC fanboy, like by this troll when I was streaming a few years ago. Like PC fanboy. I've got like all the consoles, like all the main consoles. I love them all. You know, it's just. People see in you what they want to see, you know. I've been called I'll, a I'll be hater. I was just about to say, I, I love taking the piss out of the Switch. Like, as, as you know, I, yes, any yes. opportunity, I it's love doing so it. funny. Because it's the way some people are just like, why do you hate the Switch so much? Why do you do this? Like, I bought two of them. I know, I know. Because <laughs> when, when you, you put that jab in your channel the other day about... Um, oh, oh, about great. Pikmin. Yeah. No, but it's, <laughs> it's because they say, oh... It was actually a video that came up on YouTube and it said, oh, yes. and then, and Nintendo surprise announcement of a new game. And then when I saw it, I was like, a new game? Yeah. It's been out for fucking years. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, Pikmin 3, Pikmin 2013. 3, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, and everyone, a new game. everyone's saying, because there's a little bit of a Switch drought at the moment. I mean, they, you get droughts oh, for every console. Just a bit. It, it, yeah. They need to announce is. something soon. I it's like... There's nothing new that, that's coming out. That's that's the problem. There's nothing no, exciting to look no. forward to at the moment. There isn't, but I will almost guarantee they have something. They, I mean, there's all these rumours of, of Mario and well, Nintendo. There's very, and, very, very strong rumours uh, about the, the Mario Nintendo. collection, like the 3D Mario collection being released. Which I um, will shit my pants if that comes out. That's one of those things that will make me get back into the Switch again if something like that happens. And also Good fucking next luck year be in the next year be in the um Zelda thirty fifth anniversary. Will they do something for that? Do you know all they've got Which, to do to satisfy know, me is bring every single Zelda out on the Switch. That's if all they've got to do is just bring out every Zelda. Every <laughs> single one. All twenty four of them, whatever it is. Well, you won't be able to play the DS ones, the three D S ones. Um <sighs> anything skyward sword i don't know if they'd be able to release it because I, I honestly don't think they've got any intention of removing the motion controls from it the trouble with skyward sword um, is it is so heavily baked into it that well it was designed controls. around that that's the, yeah, that's the that thing i can't I mean, but the thing is you can potentially do motion controls with the joy cons yeah. but the switch light obviously doesn't have them basically that's almost but they have released some games that literally don't work on the switch light because they rely on you know the hd have rumble and, and stuff yeah you know yeah. like some of the party games and, and that. oh yeah that's true um, one two switch is a big so, one that comes to my mind um i think mario party might be another one that's a difficult one possibly um there's i think there, there's a few so mm. it goes to show maybe they don't worry too much if they no. you know if the game sells well enough they might not worry and it might encourage people to buy a normal switch if you can actually get one <sighs> mate me me and gabby have been trying to get a normal switch for months now um you you can't get them you cannot get them and yeah i mean they're selling well and all the rest of it but there's got to be something going on nintendo needs to step well, up manufacturing I, or something i think there has been because of the coronavirus thing i think that's cocked up a lot of things because I'm pretty sure they they're probably made in China. I'm guessing. Oh well, yeah, most so things are. Yeah, let's be you fair. know. So most I'm presuming are. that's where a lot of the issues coming in. But but you can still yeah, get other it's, systems. It's... You can still get other systems. You know, it's just... true. But you can get the Switch Lite. You can get a Switch Lite anywhere. Yes. The... But you can't get the normal Switch. I honestly think they're trying to almost phase it out a little bit. Like they they want the Switch Lite to become popular. Then if they release a game that's much better on the normal switch like say they release breath of the wild 2 and mm -hmm. everyone's like wow i want to play that on my tv then they have to buy another switch double so for dip. nintendo it's just, yeah exactly dip. yeah yeah nintendo, nintendo like knows that dip. people will do it yeah <laughs> you know? well i mean if i had know. a switch light i'd want to set i'd want a proper switch as well yeah if i only had a light i mean 
the light is cool and i do play i play it a lot the um, buttons are a lot better on the light yeah i don't have any issues Flat with it at all. way better I, th- I think it's a really nice system and me and the missus we both got one hers is a launch model that's been heavily 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 used she's got no issues with it at all she even spilt uh, some juice in it, like a whole pint of juice. <laughs> it fucked it up for a couple of days. I thought I was going to have to buy another one, but it dried out and it's absolutely fine. Mine is mine's about a couple of months old now and it's been hammered to fuck. No issues of drift or anything. Um, I think the drift thing is just uh, luck of the draw. I think because some so, people yes. have had it like almost straight away. Other yeah. people have had their switch since launch and not had an issue. I never had an issue with it personally, mm. but no. But you did know my, people. My that nephews did. and my niece did. You mm. know, so you know, I do get that it does happen. <laughs> but it's, I never had an issue. It's interesting that Nintendo kind of danced around that for a long time because Nintendo systems uh, were always very high quality in the past. Robust. Uh, they're always very robust hardy yeah. machines yeah yeah i mean like the the 2ds my god you kick that thing through a wall uh, all their handhelds and let's let's not fuck around here regardless of what shit nintendo's shoveling and feeding everyone the switch is a handheld i don't care what they say like, oh, no, 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 it's not a home no, console no it's, it's a just home not. console that you can take with you fuck off bollocks bullshit it is a handheld that is all it is it's a handheld that you can dock to the tv if you want if you have the right one, it, that's the thing. Because <laughs> yeah, the Switch Lite, right let's one. be honest, the Switch Lite is pretty much what I think the Switch actually is, really. Yes, um, totally. That is the Switch in its purest form. Yeah, for sure. Um, but <sighs> Which can't switch. <laughs> it, it is weird, isn't it? You know, even if... I, I still think they should have allowed the Switch Lite to, to dock. In well, it's some... got the, the port. It's the fact that it was, I'm, I can't see how it would have been so the difficult port, for them to but... release a special dock that could have worked with the Switch Lite, even if you had to buy it separately. That is you exactly know, I what don't... I was going to say. You took the words out of my mouth. It, if there was a separate dock that you had to pay, even if it was 50 quid extra, sure. People would pay it. Yes, <laughs> I would. would Absolutely, it. I would. Even if, because it's a smaller system and the, the fan and the cooling is, it system is smaller, even if it only you know kept to the the portable resolution on the big screen fine if you want the pro model you can you can get that but yeah i don't know why but they have done a teardown on the switch Lite, and it does not have the video display chip inside. no that's what i mean they purposely left it out they removed that and that's and, why i find it weird yep and that, that they, cannot be added you know. back in that cannot be added back in it needs to be inside uh, uh to the system yeah i don't know but talk about like the new consoles and stuff coming out and the switch coming out um it's going to be interesting to see how switch ports continue going forwards with the new machines because the switch is i mean if you talk in t-flops which are not apples to apples um anyway the switch is about 0.4 t-flops let's just say the xbox one x is 12. how you're going to get an xbox series x game to run remotely close on the switch it's it's not going to happen i was actually thinking about this exact thing earlier on what you got it's easy to just think about because you have the witcher right Mm -hmm. it was a an xbox one game Mm -hmm. which obviously was quite advanced but the, the visuals on the consoles in some respects don't hold up that well no but on the switch in in my opinion it 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 looks freaking awful yeah i understand why because it didn't have the power like you got uh, that you got doom you got wolfenstein mm-hmm. um they're going to be bringing out doom eternal on the mm-hmm. switch and they're all games that it just what popped in my head was actually jurassic park <laughs> where ian malcolm goes you know, they spent too much time thinking, you know, if they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. If they should, yeah, yeah. And that's what makes me think of the Switch ports, because they're just like, we can port Doom, but should we? Yeah. Because... But then again, it, it did sell well for what it is, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's like the Witcher, it's like, you know, well, but once again, what am I talking about? I don't know anything, because it's it sold quite well, even though it looks like dog shit. 
you know, and runs like ass as well. But it's one of those things, it's still sold well. So I suppose I'm talking out my ass. I think but the yeah. thing is, a lot of people understand that if they're buying uh, the Switch version, it's not going to look as good. You know, but it's still 60 close. quid. That's, I, that's I the know, thing. That's I the know. thing that always niggles me. It's like it's they're Nintendo. paying a lot more for a, for a version that looks like shit. But <laughs> it's like, but. Can you pack but, your Xbox One X up in your backpack and take it with you? Can you have it on your lap whilst you're taking a shit? It's like you can't, TV? but do you know what? I can play my Xbox One X games on my iPhone 11 Pro you can with an Xbox now. controller. Yes, you can now. And, you know, so I, I can't take it out of the house, but, you know, I can play it away from the TV if I want you to. You can take it out of the house very soon, though, with Game Pass and well, no, the, the, yeah, Once again, Ooh. this is the whole thing. I don't know how Nintendo is going to deal with the competition they're going to have. I mean, I don't know if Sony going to have a similar uh, thing that they're going to bring Maybe, out. Maybe, yeah. But the yeah. xCloud thing is, if that works, as well as they're saying it's going to work, well, it's been in the beta. switch ain't gonna that ain't gonna that ain't gonna hold up so well if if people are literally able to play like well then it'll be current gen yeah. current gen games anywhere they want like anywhere mm-hmm. as long as you can get 4g or 5g yeah i, I mean they did announce that and the thing is everyone was like how much is x cloud going to cost how much is x you know that that's going to be it's the just big included the game is it, yeah it's in included in game pass game pass yeah. is the best deal in gaming it is it's absolutely i incredible. actually find game pass a bit scary i'll be honest with you it's I've, overwhelming. I've paid for three months and i look at it and i'm like i yeah. can't play these games no nope. there's too many there's too many like amazing games there yeah. what am i going to play incredible <laughs> games like you know gears of but gears of war um yeah obviously the halo games you've got so many cool indie games um Red Dead Redemption, like we've said before, Grand Theft Auto is on there. I think last time I looked, there's nearly 250 games on Game Pass. I think even it's, just... it's ridiculous. I only look at the first couple of pages and I'm like, well, oh, you can't. Already there's there's so like 20 much. games there that I would want to play, yeah. but I'll never get time to. You uh, know, and it's like, as I said, it is, it's overwhelming almost, like and how it, much stuff yeah. is there. And it is taking away from Sony because um, I was going to get Streets of Rage 4 on the PlayStation. And I fired up the Xbox, and it's like, oh, <laughs> Game Pass get is, get is right there that, to yeah. play. And uh, what was it? Um, I was going to play that other RPG, that, that Obsidian one that came out um, recently, the one that they brought to the um, Switch. Was Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. I was going to play Outer Worlds. But all of that was on Game Pass. All of the DLC is coming out to Game Pass as well. All of those games that they showed off on the, Xbox, on the, the, the last uh, Xbox um stream that they had which there was like 33 games yeah a lot of them weren't brilliant but they're all coming to game pass for free and there's a huge variety of games um and people are moaning about like halo visuals and all the rest of it and 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 you know but you don't have to pay for these games if you've got game pass and the whole thing with halo is because even i said to you it's like when i watched the video I was I was like, um is like is 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 that how it's actually gonna look? I did like mm. it was actually when the um I can't remember the guy's name, the, the bad guy that talks at the end, you know. Oh he's a new guy, yeah. He he um, yeah, the brute. I don't and know, it was I like um the textures that like were down this armor and stuff and I was like, that literally looks like a three sixty game. Mm. Like it, and I, I was it, it, that's exactly what it looked like to me. It looked like someone would take a 360 game and it had been mm. like Xbox One X in enhanced. Hand. Yeah. And I was like, because um, I, I get it's running, is it 4K 120 FPS or something? Uh, they said the campaign will be 4K 60 and the multiplayer will be 4K 120. And Which, it's like, yeah. th- that's mad. I know that it's one of those things where it's like crazy, but it's because that was the game that Microsoft needed to use to show off the like the visuals of the new console. I think yeah. I think that's why it, it fell as hard as it did. I because, I, I think ugh. yeah. I mean, personally, me and the missus we watched it. We're both big Halo fans. We loved it. 
we thought this looks cool um obviously it's a work in progress they said the, the main game will look better they haven't got the uh, full textures in yet they haven't got the ray tracing in there yet um i think a lot of people need to temper their expectations as well because a lot of these games are going to be 4k 60 frames a second that's people don't seem to understand how much processing power it takes to get to 4k 60 when you think like a 2080 ti graphics card which costs 1200 pounds can't do it um and actually on facebook i was having an uh, not an argument but this guy a debate. Ago, yeah a debate if you will on on um this was a few months ago actually he was saying about the playstation 5 and he was saying oh i can't wait to play games in 8k and i was like <laughs> Uh, not happening not happening uh, and he's like yeah nope. Sony have said he's he and he said I wish I'd screen cap this he said yeah Sony have confirmed it will run 8k 60 frames a second 4k 120 frames a second and I'm like my dude prepare your butt for extreme disappointment because you are going to get 4k 30 games and you are going to get games that run under 4k as well you just start. oh absolutely it's just the way there'll definitely is. be games that they want to get at 60 frames and they'll be like 1440p or, or something because yeah. they'll want it to be 60 or, or whatever mm -hmm. it's bound to happen and locked and people are already saying like they, there's a couple of xbox one x games that, that they showed off that are only 4k 30 frames a second and um i can't remember what one it was i think it's that one the median uh, which oh, is yeah, like because yeah. like it's Hill. rendering like two basically two games at once yeah and and it looks incredible as well um and everyone's like oh the xbox one x is underpowered or oh, the xbox series x is underpowered it's like it really actually isn't but you people don't understand how difficult it is to push 4k man it's like i said top end pcs still can't do it reliably so to have a box it's, that's <laughs> going to cost 400 quid that does it not only that but like with halo as well like 4k 120 frames a second that's unheard of that's very very impressive if that actually comes uh to see it's one of those things where it's like as you you know it's like i've got my a 4k oled there and yeah. i love to see things as as good as they can possibly be yeah but the difference between say 1800p or 1440p at 4k mm -hmm. it is actually quite hard to tell unless yes, i sit is. like right in front of the fucking tv mm -hmm. and i'm going to be doing that and it's one of those things where i personally would rather a game be smooth mm -hmm. a decent re resolution it doesn't have yeah. to be 4k just a decent resolution because mm -hmm. Once they put in like the anti-aliasing and stuff that people use, I mean, look at Last of Us Two, it looks fucking amazing. I think that runs at fourteen forty p on the I, Pro. I don't know. I I haven't looked, but it is. It's think, gorgeous. But it's so clean. It's, it's like you know. I've played it on four K on my TV. It's with the HDR. It. <laughs> I tell you what, looking at Gears of War Five and looking at um. Uh, the last of us 2 it does make me think that even we've seen what we've seen of the new consoles yet we've seen games running on them but we have not seen what they can do yet because if that's what the pro oh, can no, do no. and if that's what the xbox one x can do i can't imagine what these new machines are going to do <sighs> which does also I lead me to think the switch ain't got a fucking chance in hell it's not going to be getting ports it's just going not... back to hang on a minute i'm just going to shut the curtains i can still hear you yeah I'm going to have to go in a minute. I've got to pick up the missus. Oh, yeah. Of course you have. Yeah, it's almost <clears> 10 o'clock. <throat> Luckily, she yeah, just Just on that pro. point, before you do go, mm. talking about the Switch, there's a strong rumour that the next Switch, which could be next year, um, will be around the power of a base PS4. <sighs> do you think even that would be enough power for them to port, you know, games down to it? Do you reckon? Possibly. I mean, I think the biggest thing that holds the Switch back is the CPU because it's an ARM-based. It's so... Even to the Jaguar cores, it's so outclassed by them. Um, if they can bring out something that's actually like a current-gen ARM 
or next gen ARM CPU, maybe. But also, if you think um, that Halo Infinite okay right hey damage controlling for bungee no 343 damage controlling if you think halo infinite is coming out <clears throat> but that is running on the series x the series s that doesn't but does exist it's also running on the original vcr x uh, xbox one you know mm -hmm. it's running on all of these systems so yes i think it could they possibly take some of these i mean they'd It'd have be to in it like down. a couple of years time where games start to stop supporting the older consoles which inevitably will happen when the it fan will. base builds up on the new consoles and they'll be well, like oh, do we need to worry about the old ones anymore sony's doing it straight away sony's cut off the playstation straight away they're saying all our new first party games only playstation 5 in a in a i don't know it's one it of those does things, allow in a way to take I kind full, of you know it does allow them to take full power out of the new hardware and i do think that's where halo is suffering because it has to run on that fucking old vcr mm. thing um but at the same time if yeah okay if it doesn't look visually that gobsmacking but you're getting 4k 60 frames a second and the gameplay looked brilliant it looked halo uh, a big open world this time as well I I wasn't I wasn't disappointed. Um, See, it's one of those things. I mean, me and you always talk about backwards compatibility and how much we love it. Mm -hmm. I personally, I'm used to the fact that when a new console came out, say, and going from Mega Drive to N64 to GameCube, whatever, the next thing didn't support what you bought on the previous console. Mm -hmm. But we've got to the stage now where everything can be supported digitally. Yes. So I don't understand why they can't, when the new consoles come out, all the games are made for that console. But you can still play the older games, you know, digitally or, or on disc or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they move on with all of their publishing to the next generation. They do leave the old behind and just Which is what they on. always used to do. Yeah. You know, like um, with the Xbox 360, you know, they, they dropped the original Xbox. Sony is always... You know, gone straight onto the next platform. I th yeah, this basically. Whole, this whole cross-gen thing that Microsoft is doing, yeah, they're being prosumer and, and noble and all the rest of it. But when, uh, look, okay, look at the backlash Sony's had uh, in the last couple of days, because you cannot play PlayStation Five games with a DualShock Four. Have you seen that? I do. You know what? I saw it, and I just didn't get it. I didn't well, understand. Basically, like, Microsoft... it's got a new controller. Why? That's what? right. Why? Well, what? Basically, I want to still use my N sixty four controller. Damn it! Right, right. <laughs> this is this blew my mind. Okay, so so Microsoft's come out and said all of your old games controllers and all this old shit, everything for the Xbox One will work on the. Uh, yeah, it would because they're all the like the same. System. Yeah, which is fine. Basically. Okay, I mean weird flex, but if sure. They broke. Don't fix it. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it's, it does have a new control pad, but it's basically the same. It does look a little bit different, but it's basically the same. But Sony has said, um, with the PlayStation 4, you can use your PlayStation 4 control pad to play PlayStation 4 games, but you cannot play PlayStation 5 games with a DualShock 4. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, whatever. We, you know. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, sure. And everyone's moaning, like, yeah, but, yeah, but oh, 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 on the Xbox, you can fucking use anything. And you're just like, we've never had this before. This is, people are so entitled and spoiled now. Why do you want to use an old control pad on your new system? Now, I understand if you've got friends over and you've got one dual sense and you've got a couple yeah but of... local multiplayer tie doesn't really exist right anymore. exactly my point apart from Who... with nintendo they're the only people that still worry about it really. true true but this is what people were saying about what if i go over my mate's house and he's only got a dual shock four and, and one dual set that is such a niche kind of scenario that doesn't happen anymore you know and the thing is with the xbox the new control pad doesn't have any new features apart from the fact it's now got a share button on it it's a, a normal ordinary control pad, and there's nothing wrong with that uh the dual the dual sense 
is very fucking nuts with the adaptive buttons, adaptive triggers. You've got the haptic feedback. Uh, it's, mm. The touch pad is all different. And obviously those features are going to be used in the new PlayStation 5 games. So obviously you're going to need that control pad to get the full effect out of the game. So I don't, who cares? You know, if you want to keep using DualShock 4, keep using your PlayStation 4. If it's like that's what I mean, we I mean, did. Take, take my Wii U for example. You can use like almost anything on, on that console, but I never yep. expected it to. No, no. I no. just thought oh, I would just use the gamepad, but it just so happens you can use Wii Motes, yeah. Wii Classic controllers. I even use a fucking N sixty four controller for yeah, with the, yeah, games. with the adapter. Like yeah. you, you know, it just, <laughs> it just. I don't know. I don't see what's up with people. People just. So this want... is what I mean. Everything. It, something has to be wrong. Mm -hmm. but a lot of people that are younger than us uh and i know old farts here we go but they didn't grow up with traditional generations like we did you know they they had the think about it the place if you were like 10 years old when the playstation fucking no when the 360 came out you you pretty much were 20 by the time the 360 was discontinued that's like half of your life where we were, we, you know, that's such a big part of your life. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess, you know, the 10 year life cycle is, it would be normal to you. Um, and then obviously this has been quite a long generation as well. I mean, when they came out in 2013, so yeah, nearly seven years, eight years almost by the time the new systems come out. Yeah. When we were kids, you, you always had a new system. Uh, after it's like five, five years, years. yeah always we were used to that and we always we were used to the fact that you toss the old shit away <clears throat> and when you get the new one um you it's know, only when you get old like us that you want to buy them back again because you miss them <laughs> yeah but uh, also back then we, we didn't kids. care we just like <clears throat> traded them in or whatever mate i was terrible i i you know i used to sell my old systems as well i was like oh i don't want this old dog shit anymore <laughs> i've got the new one and then yeah you look back at yourself now and you think you bell end you should have kept yeah, that stuff twat. Yeah, mm. um, but no, so a lot of people that play games these days um, that are, say, in the early 20s aren't used to those hard cutoffs that we used to have. Um, and, they, you know, it was frustrating sometimes that you couldn't take your games forward with you. But you kept I don't remember it ever being frustrating. As I said to you earlier, like, Not I really. just knew that when the GameCube came out, I couldn't play N64 games anymore. When no. the the well actually no the wii was an exception because obviously i could chuck gamecube games in it but like yeah, nintendo were good um, when i bought the that. ps3 oh no that was an exception <laughs> well, my argument isn't very good no it's falling <laughs> apart because actually backwards compatibility <laughs> it was the fact that i never expected good. it it wasn't like no. oh i'm gonna get the ps3 so i can still play my ps2 games it was like no right. i'm buying it for ps3 games but also you know, we I were don't... so excited for the new systems that we didn't care about the old ones you know <sighs> different times man just fuck when do we get old shit <sighs> anyway i'm gonna have to wrap this up because uh, yeah you're gonna have to go yeah i got like eight minutes to go see the missus and i still got to make the bed <laughs> so get them uh, stains off boy yeah keep the blue light away Right, anyway, so um, this has been another rant video. I can't even summarise. We just talked about a lot of shit. It wasn't today. even a rant. No, we didn't get that angry. General discussion. General discussion. I'll save that for when we do The Last of Us or something. Still haven't touched it apart mm -hmm. from the first 20 minutes. I'm still trying to do Days Gone, which is such a good game. It really is good. Oh, I'm loving it. Anyway, I really have to go because <laughs> I'm going to be right, in shit. I'll let you get on. All right, cheers, buddy. Right, and uh, thanks bit, for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.